Right now we have just uh, this, this protest in the center of Yerevan. And it seems to be many thousands of people marching into the Republic Square in the center right now. Что хотите? И что, что это сейчас? Сейчас митинг. Что вы, Пашинян, премьер-министр Армении Никол Пашинян, срочно оставил пост премьера. Вот это наш сегодняшний тем. Что вам еще сказать? Сколько людей думал здесь? Вот как? Видите? Наверное. Спасибо. <говорит> So, so it's clear now that this is a, a new protest uh, to remove the uh, Prime Minister of uh, Armenia. There are many thousands of people here. This is the most I've seen here in Yerevan so far. Uh, we can just see across how many people are actually here. And there's some sort of uh, co cohesity between the protesters and the police. No aggression back and forth at all. Very interesting to see. And now uh, the uh, group is making its way to the uh, government building uh, where the office of the Prime Minister is. And uh, as almost every day, there are many police uh, here at the uh, front of the, uh, uh, the government building here. We can see lined up. So now the protesters are reaching the government building. сейчас требует чтобы этот пашинян от ну чтобы отказался от власти оставил республику на нашу волю на наш на наш выбор хочешь еще выбор да что еще выбор да ну чтобы мы сами выбирали нашу действительность и наше будущее Мы сами решали, что хотим.
protesters are uh, uh, putting out a large Armenian flag. Catch it live, you're gonna catch it on this full report. Uh, so please like this video, share it across all social media, and uh, also uh, remember I'm an independent crowdfunding journalist, so you can support my work. The links in the description. And we're gonna to continue to bring all we can here in yet and in Arsenal on a daily basis. This is a big project, and we're all here in the team together. So today, uh, the youth of the ARF, of the Armenian Revolutionary Federation, uh, they organized this pro uh, protest slash rally that was started from the opera and uh, led to the center of the city, to Republic Square. And uh, people are gathered here today to demand the resignation of uh, the Prime Minister, Nikol Pashinyan. Uh -huh. And uh, how many people do you think uh, are here today? Uh, the estimated numbers are about three to 4,000. Uh -huh. I've been here for a few days now. It's the most that I've seen so far. Yeah. This is quite a, quite a big deal. Yeah, no? I think it's because uh, the, the last couple of days there have been some different uh, kinds of uh, protests and r rallies that have been going on and the people are being more and more encouraged to join. So this is just the beginning. I think there are things uh, planned every single day like rallies, protests and everyone will be aware through the news media. Uh -huh. ah, so this is just the beginning, right? This is just the beginning. Uh, what do you think is going to... Uh, what will be? What's going to happen? In my opinion, I think that through this uh, through this movement, everyone is slowly starting to join, and people that have been quiet for this uh, long time who had supported him in the past are now coming around and realizing that uh, his uh, staying in government is uh, is dangerous for the entire country. So people are starting to come out and join the protests, and I, I think this won't stop until he uh, until he resigns or he's removed from office. Uh -huh. And can I, uh, personally I understand, but just for the people that are watching, why should he be removed from office? Because he's not credible to be on the negotiating table anymore. He signed a, uh, an agreement that was not uh, for the interest of the Armenian people and he doesn't have the, he doesn't, he can't sit in front of a, uh, on a negotiating table and uh, present the Armenian people when he signed something that has uh, caused so much pain and destruction in the country as well. Uh -huh. And you're uh, 
of course referring to the trilateral agreement between yes. Russia, Azerbaijan, yes. and Armenia. Uh -huh. And how do you feel about the fact that most of the Republic of Artsakh has been given to Azerbaijan? I think it's the one of the worst times in Armenian history that we're living in, especially for a generation that had the ability to go to Artsakh and visit Artsakh all the time. We feel like our sacred homeland is, has been taken away from us. And it's unacceptable for us, so we'll continue to fight until we can either... We, the first step is to bring him down from office and then continue to regain the, the lands however, in however long it takes. So it seems like most uh, people are uh, leaving from the square now. So it's been uh, very uh, interesting. This is, uh, as the, the woman said, this is the first uh, major uh, gathering here. And uh, it's only the beginning. So we're going to have to see uh, what information we can find. Uh, continue to try to talk to uh, the governments, both the opposition and the ruling parties and find out uh, all the information we can, bring you all these interviews, all these reports, and there's so much more to come between here in uh, Yerevan, Armenia, and in the Republic of Artsakh. So please, like this video, share it across all social media, and uh, we're going to get the truth out together. <laughs>